Trucker stranded for four days takes desperate measures to make it out alive. A seasoned truck driver set out on what was supposed to be a routine delivery, but fate had other ideas. He soon found himself fighting for his life, and yet he still refused to compromise his precious cargo, even though doing so could have easily saved his life. Despite the freezing weather, beads of sweat rolled down Jacob Cartwright's face. He struggled to keep the steering wheel of his tractor trailer steady as he barreled down an icy road. Peering at the blurry signs ahead, he couldn't help but wonder how he ended up in this situation. It started a few months earlier in 2018. Jacob was just a decent guy in need of a job. He was working as a cross-country trucker, but the endless routes wore him out and pulled him away from his wife and two kids. He needed a change. Jacob came across a more local driving job with Little Trees Transportation. Roy Henry, the owner, admired Jacob's familial priorities and brought him aboard. The new hire soon proved himself as one of the most dependable employees out there. So nobody in the company expected any trouble when they asked Jacob to drive across Oregon from Portland to the small town of Nyssa. His truck was filled to the brim with boxes, though Jacob found it curious that they were so light. It was while transporting these boxes that he fought to keep his truck straight, struggling on those icy roads. He'd heard too many stories about reckless drivers beforehand. His pulse started racing as he realized he made a grave mistake. Glancing at the GPS, Jacob saw he plunked in the wrong address. He quickly entered the right one, which required him to get off the highway and take a detour on a service road. From there, he hurtled into the windiest road he'd ever seen. Though Jacob devoted his full concentration to his driving, the asphalt was slick and the dense pine trees let little light through. An impossibly tight turn appeared just ahead of him. He slammed the brakes. He lost all control of his truck, but luckily, the vehicle stayed upright. Jacob took a deep breath as it came to a halt. Revving the engine, the driver heard a terrible sound. He hopped outside and assessed the situation. His tires were hopelessly stuck. The first thought to cross Jacob's mind was that he'd be late for the delivery, a rare occurrence for him. He tried to call his supervisor, but never got through. There was no cell service out there. Or anything out there. Jacob waited around for rescue, but hours passed him by. Thirst began to creep up on him, so he melted some snow and drank it. He was more dehydrated than he realized, but he needed more than just water. While the truck wouldn't budge, Jacob could still open the trailer. He decided to check on the status of the cargo. The driver licked his lips as he peeled back the cardboard lid of a box. His eyes scanned over his cargo. Potato chips, a lifetime supply, filled his tractor trailer. Jacob's stomach rumbled, though a little voice in his head disagreed with his gut. Roy trusted him to deliver the product intact, Jacob remembered. Eating any of it, even just a few stray crumbs, would go down as a complete betrayal of his duties. He shut the trailer door. The hard truth was becoming clearer, nobody was coming to rescue Jacob. He would have to find his own way to safety. The driver locked up his truck, though there didn't seem to be many thieves in the area, and trudged into the harsh winter. Charting a rough course for home, Jacob trudged through the knee-deep snow. He melted more water and slept under piles of pine needles. But days later, he still had yet to reappear in civilization. Understandably, Jacob's wife Devon was torn up about his absence. He'd never gone AWOL before, yet nobody had seen any sign of him for four days. She thought she was hallucinating when she returned home from work and saw a familiar face on the sofa. Jacob made it home and was changing his shoes like nothing ever happened. Of course, Devon insisted on bringing him to a hospital after hearing about everything he went through. Hopefully, there wouldn't be any long-term effects. After Roy heard the good news, he came to visit Jacob. Between the driver's survival skills and refusal to dip into another person's chip supply, his boss was pretty impressed. Then again, nobody could be too surprised, given the tattoo on Jacob's forearm that read, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. When Devon said she feared her husband was dead, he replied, you ain't getting rid of me that easily. Jacob returned home and immediately flopped onto the bed with one of his kids wrapped in his arms. Sleep came easily, as Jacob knew he handled a dangerous situation as a man of honor. Still, he knew that moving forward he would need to find a trucking partner. And news from a competing trucking company confirmed his decision.